Breaking news at noon, brand new development in the deadly triple shooting in the heart of Midtown. Right now, the woman Atlanta police say pulled the trigger is going before a judge for the first time since she was arrested at the airport less than 24 hours ago. Good afternoon, I'm Lana Harris. Now we are now getting a first look at that first appearance in a Fulton County courtroom. Take a look, this is brand new video showing Raisa Kenye in court handcuffed. We've learned she is facing multiple charges, including two counts of murder, three counts of aggravated assault, and two counts of false imprisonment. Police are also telling CBS 46 that Midtown shootings were targeted attacks. We have live team coverage this afternoon. CBS 46's Madeline Montgomery is standing by with a brand new witness account to the accused shooter's arrest. We begin though with Rebecca Schramm, who is live at the condo building that was the scene of the first shooting. Now, Rebecca, you have learned more about how the victims and the alleged shooter are connected. Yeah, that's right, Lana. I've been searching through case files and lawsuits, and I've learned the accused shooter lived here at this high-rise condo building called 1280 West. Two of the shooting victims worked here. A third apparently was, at one point, a colleague of the woman who's now in custody. Residents of 1280 West condominiums described 60-year-old building manager Michael Shinners as a man who was loved by the community who could never be replaced. The widow of 41-year-old Wesley Freeman told CBS 46 via text that her husband was kind and gentle, incredibly funny, and that he never spoke an ill word of anyone. According to authorities and the building's management company, this woman, identified as 34-year-old Raisa Kenye, entered the management management office at about 1:45 Monday afternoon shooting and killing Shinners and critically wounding Mike Horn the management company's chief engineer I've been in this building for 18 years to hear something like that this is definitely the worst day ever for this building while authorities were investigating that shooting, they got a call of another shooting a few blocks away on Peachtree Street. Police say that's where Kenye shot and killed Freeman. Freeman worked for the accounting firm BDO, the same firm the accused shooter lists on her LinkedIn page as a former employer. We've learned Kenye was a plaintiff in several lawsuits. In May of 2020, she was one of several residents who sued the condo association at 1280 West over balcony repairs. In May of this year, she filed a lawsuit against several people and entities, including the two murder victims, Wesley Freeman and Michael Shinners. And we are working to get a copy of that specific lawsuit so that we can confirm some of the details of her complaint. Live in Midtown, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. All right, but Rebecca, thank you for those updates. Now our team coverage continues with Madeline Montgomery. She is live outside of the Fulton County Courthouse. Madeline, you actually tracked down a local witness to the arrest at the Hartsville Jackson yesterday. What can you tell us? Lana, it was just a crazy situation. It's a voice that a lot of you probably have heard before. Brian Moo, he's on 94.9 The Bull. He's usually cutting up, having a good time. And then yesterday he says he somehow became a part of the news cycle when usually he's the one who's just reading it on air on the radio. He tells me that he was flying back in from a trip out west when he heard about this situation unfolding in Midtown. He was, of course, worried because he knows a lot of people who live in Midtown. He has his radio station in Midtown, and so he was paying attention, thinking that he'd probably be reporting on the situation in the morning, and little did he know that he would become a part of the story. He says he made a mental note when police described the suspect as wearing a black and white striped shirt and jeans. And so when he got off his plane, he's walking and trying to get his bags at the airport. And all of a sudden he sees a woman getting arrested. He at first thinks maybe it's just a disorderly passenger. And then he finds out that it is in fact the woman that everybody has been looking for and talking about who police are saying is the suspect in this shooting of three people. So he says it was just a truly shocking situation, shocking to become a part of the story and start be the one who was just telling it. And one thing he really wanted to make sure folks knew is just how amazed he was at the situation. The fact that nothing bad happened. There was no violence during the arrest. He was just impressed, especially since it was told that Kenya did have a gun on her at the time of the arrest. She had the gun that police believe she used in the triple shooting in her purse, but she did not have any issues when police 
came and arrested her. And so he just wanted to make sure we all gave credit to all of the different police agencies involved in this. Of course, it was Atlanta police as well as Fulton County Sheriff's Office, the MARTA police. Both of the colleges downtown's police forces were involved. Just a group effort to make sure that this suspected shooter was removed from the streets to make sure that there were no more casualties in this situation. And we're going to have a report, including the interview with Brian Muth. That's going to be on later today on CBS 46. But for now, reporting live in Fulton County, I'm Madeline Montgomery, CBS 46 News. Yeah, Madeline, this is such a heartbreaking situation for the victims, but it could have been a lot worse. You're right. Thank you for those updates.